Hello, you're yeah, welcome to Eti Monitor. Committed to your tutu world. Today, I would like to speak on the topic sexually transmitted infections. Sexually transmitted infections. Sexually transmitted infections, otherwise known as sexually uh, transmitted diseases or venereal diseases, are those infections caused by microorganisms such as bacteria or viruses. This infection can be passed from one person to another during intimate physical contact. Therefore, infection can be, uh, can be transmitted in several ways. Infection can be transmitted through vaginal sex. Infection can be transmitted through oral sex. Infection can be transmitted through anal sex. And of course, infection can also be transmitted through skin-to-skin -skin contact. Having said that, let me look at the risk factors of sexually transmitted infections and they have multiple sex partners, uh, people that do not uh, use condom during vaginal, oral or anal sex and of course history of sexually transmitted disease, history of sexually transmitted disease. So don't be away from that, let me look at the common symptoms of sexually transmitted infections. Although some uh, infections are uh, still well spreadable, they may have no symptoms. But all these will indicate sexually transmitted infections, and they have an unusual discharge in both men and women, um, inflammation of the testicle in men, in women bleeding between period or after intercourse. Uh, pain on intercourse, uh, pain or burning sensation while you need it, um, pain or uh, lower abdominal pain, pelvic rather, pelvic or lower abdominal pain, um, sore blisters, wart genital, rashes, uh, irritation or itching near the genital or anus. Anna itching, painful bowel movements, and so on, and so on like that. Having said that now, so let's now quickly look, uh, quickly pick one of the most common uh, sexual transmitted infection, and that is gonorrhea. So our topic now is gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease that is caused by bacteria called Nizere gonorrhea. Of course, it, it is very common uh, among sexually active people between the age of 15 and 29. And this gonorrhea that we're talking about can infect the cervix, uh, the urethra, the anus, the retina, of course, can also spread to the throat. And it is very important for us to know that uh, having one infection can make it... Um, easier to catch another more serious one this time around having said that let's quickly look at the symptoms of uh, gonorrhea symptoms of gonorrhea symptoms of gonorrhea uh, may show up at any time between uh between the first day and 14 days of exposure it may show up at any time it may show up at any time um, and it is very possible uh, to be infected with gonorrhea and have no symptoms very very possible to be infected with gonorrhea and have no symptoms and men are more likely to take no notice of symptoms than women so having said that now let's quickly look at uh, symptoms of gonorrhea uh, in both men and women in women In women, they may, put pay, uh, they may include pain on intercourse, um, pelvic or lower abdominal pain, uh, pain or burning sensation where you need to, uh, a vaginal uh, discharge, uh, which may increase, and the color may change from yellow to greenish color over time, and they may develop strong smell over time. Time. Frequent urination, of course, nausea and vomiting, uh, which can also lead to viva. Having said that, now let's look at uh, the symptoms 
and in men. Symptoms of gonorrhea in men include uh, yellow, white, or greenish color discharge from the penis, uh, swollen testicles, um, painful bowel movements, and itchy. Um, and I eat you, and so on and so on, like that. Afi said that let's quickly look at the ways ways to prevent uh, gonorrhea or how we can prevent gonorrhea. Um, of course, abstinence, um, using latex condom, faithfulness, precautionary measures. In order to avoid subsequent uh, a, a disease, to avoid subsequent disease. So, how can we know what's now the complete? Have you said the prevention now? What's now the complications of uh, gonorrhea? In men, complications may include uh, inflammation of the testicles, uh, medically called epididymitis, uh, which can lead to infertility. In women, of course, they may have miscarriage and uh, pelvic inflammatory diseases which can lead to infertility also on this note i would like to say thank you for watching and listening please and please let's take care of ourselves very very important this is sexually transmitted infections they are very common very common around us uh, please and please we need to take care of ourselves most sexually especially during this uh, critical time of covid 19. So till I come your way next, I'm Emma Olatunji. I say stay healthy, stay healthy, and stay safe. Bye for this moment.